Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Project Zomboid. This is the week two of our Seven Days to Die Horde playthrough. Um, today we mainly need to focus on getting some of this loot organized so we can head off to a new area. Uh, that's what we're doing for this week and maybe see what else we can find if we can find any more valuables. We did find this military bag recently. Actually, I think it's off this woman right here. Yeah, because I think I took her fire... I don't know if she had fire stuff or camo stuff, but bunch of good stuff just stroll up to the door with a military bag on so i'm not complaining um other than that not too much going on at the moment we organized a little bit of stuff um we also did have to get rid of the tetris mod it was just kind of a it was nice but it was a little bit of a uh, pain in the butt um we finally got our our leg healed up so that is definitely nice we can finally move a little bit we can jog we can run all that good stuff and i think that's pretty much it so far i do want to get some of the city looted now we have a larger bag. We have uh, Declan and Kirsten. I don't know why it always does that because there's no zombies here. I think it might be because of survivors, but um, we have them with us. I'm going to kind of suit them up and get them ready to do some killing with me. I think they'll be my two my two uh, scouting partners. Um, so yeah, we will look around, see if we can find anything good. I want to see if we can get... Oh, we, only, we have 50% fatigue already. Shit, we should have uh, took a nap. Um, I do want to see if I can find another, maybe a vehicle I can tow with the Mustang, so we can load that up with loots. There is one down here, um, ooh, I don't know what the map's doing. Um, there is one down at that area, but I think it needs some gas, maybe. Or maybe it's a two-seater, something, something about it I didn't like, but we do need to find a large enough vehicle to take everyone with us. Um, I had an idea about why the... I think I have an idea why the zombies aren't really around this area, because this is like an expansion, I believe, in West Point. Um, a mod, I think that's why there's really not a lot of zombies, because I think originally this area is supposed to be forced. Let's take the twine. I'm going to look up the map real quick. Like, this is all basically empty, so I think it's supposed to be forced. That's probably why there's no zombies, really. Um, but I also have this weird issue. I don't know if anybody else has had, had it before. If you guys let me know if there's a fix or what it could be. Um, I generally like to use the control to like click on things and see how it kind of just goes away after a while. I'm still holding control. I'm not sure if it kind of just glitches out or what, but, uh, it's kind of annoying when I'm trying to select a bunch of stuff and it kind of just auto deselects it. If anybody has any ideas what that could be, let me know. I would much appreciate that. Uh, I think it might be one of the settings for like keybinds or, I'm not sure, really sure, but it is very annoying. We're going to loot up the rest of this area. So uncooked rat, we'll take that one. Oh, lettuce seeds, that's very good. We found a few packets for seeds, so we definitely want to get that situated when we can, when we get a base going. Uh, we'll take all that stuff. I think we have a perk that gives us like extra food found in garbages and stuff, because we're getting a lot of rats and cockroaches. There's a bunch of zombies right there, too. Must be another survivor nearby. That could also have something to do with it. The survivors, I know they kill a lot, but I wouldn't think it would be this barren, you know what I mean? All right. Come here, boys. Ooh, a police officer. Hey, buddy. I want that, that uniform. Thank you. All right, let's give me all that goodies. I'll take all that. I think I might give that to one of these guys. This guy's got a leather jacket. That usually comes in handy. Is that a choker? Okay, it's a little bit strange. I've also been working on our leather working. Um, not leather working, tailoring skills. So we can patch up all our clothes with some extra padding. Uh, there's a burger place here. Anything open? Knock, knock. Come on, boys. Here they come. Come on, boys. You have to be careful because sometimes with the survivors, they like to, like, run past you and trip you. Like, it almost looks like it's intentional. I don't think it is intentional, but um, you can very easily get caught up because they kind of, like, bug out for whatever reason. I think they kind of just run away from the zombie and end up kind of tweaking. All right, now they're finally out. Let's give them some claw burn. There we go. 
Nice and quiet guy. Ooh, we got some cigarettes as well. That is going to be nice. Rip up all this goodies. Alright, sweet. I think we'll loot up this place. Then we'll loot up the place next door. Ooh, fresh. Nice. We get all the fresh food out of here. Get it all into the uh, storage, into the freezer. Yeah, there's a bunch of crates right here. Ooh, lots of goodies too. A candy cane? Is this a weapon? Oh, okay. Uh, take all that. Yeah. Those packets and seeds and everything. Um, not the the sacks. I mean, will probably come in handy when I'm making um, like stuff. Ooh, fresh burrito. Why don't we munch on that when I'm making um? What's that stuff called? Fertilizer. There we go. That's the word. Fertilizer for everything. Ooh, this is all fresh because that's in the fridge. We'll take that right away. I think after we loot this place, we'll actually just head back to base. We can deposit all the fresh stuff into the fridge. And then we can grab a night's sleep before we come back out. Found a sledgehammer and a generator. We got this little trolley here. It's loading up. We had some hand trucks. Sweet. All the goods. This little store. I thought this was a grocery store. And then I came in here. I was like, oh, well, this is all like equipment type stuff. Sweet. Lots of seed packets. We'll take all those. Ooh, a machete and another hand axe. We also found another crowbar. Uh, lots of goodies in here, boys. Alrighty, guys. This day 14. We are uh, here getting ready to uh, fight the horde. I think it's in the next hour. We're just going to get ready. Uh, we actually ended up moving a bunch of our stuff up here. I think this is going to be where we base up. All the way up here from down here um, next to the water, which is, should be great for the winter. A lot of area for trees and everything like that. We also changed up some stuff. We had to get rid of the Superb Survivors mod, but we got the like an altered one by another modder, which is going to be cool. We're going to get those guys set up probably after the horde here. We also took out a couple of the um, random mods that have had in them for a long time. Like there's a backpack overhaul one because the authentic Z mod that we use has these upgradable backpacks, which is awesome. And I had the mod on, but I didn't realize I had the wrong one on. So, um, yeah, so I have all these different slots now, which is sweet. I have my flashlight. I just press F. It turns it on and off. That's sweet. Um, we got found a couple of these ammo belts and we combine this ammo something with a pouch. And so now it's like this whole thing. Um, we got a fanny pack all set up, all kinds of cool stuff for you. It's coming over to say hi. Hi, buddy. I think there's a zombie nearby somewhere. There we go, boys. Finally. All right. So it's the 23rd, 10 p.m. And we got the zombies coming, the horde. Let's take them out. Where are they at? There they come. Probably want to fight in this area here on this, uh, parking area. Just so we don't have to worry about trees as well as we keep them all in one spot. Donk. Oh, this guy's got this cool little jacket on. Nice. Oh, wait, here they come, boys. Oh, look at this little elf looking guy. That's cool. Oh, there's a bunch of nakeds, too. Oh, no, Becky. Don't die already. Oh, my God. She's going to town. Look at her go. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh, she might be getting overrun here. Oh, no. She's, she's destroying them with a little hand axe. Holy shit. I took the uh, wood axe for myself, so I cut down the trees, but jeez, she's good. Oh, I'm here, I'm here. Don't worry, I got you. Let's watch my six. Oh, it's so much better than the other one, too, because the regular mod, the survivors will, like, sprint into you and run past you, and they'll get, like, the trip you right into the zombies, and you'll just end up getting cut. This woman actually helps. Ooh, a survival knife. We'll take that. Uh, some aprons. That's pretty cool. Anything else down here that we want? There's some bunny ears. That's pretty sweet. Baseball shirt. Gigamart waistcoat jacket. Bunny tail. That's all part of the authentic Z mod. Pretty cool little mod there. Adds a bunch of different custom zombie uh, uniforms and everything. Ooh, bullets and holster. We'll take those. Oh, one was a military guy. 
Nice. All right, we'll take all that then. Oh, look at this guy, Spiky Boy. Oh, look at Porcupine. Yeah, anything else? Some long gloves, a toothbrush, green Santa hat. Let's take all the Santa stuff. I think mean, that's pretty cool. Long gloves, chef jacket, bathrobe. Pretty sweet. A shower cap. All right. This guy, nothing on him. Turn our flashlight on. That might be it. There's a few over here. Come on, boys. Oh yeah, there they all are. They're all hiding. They're scared. They should have a little counter when uh when you have the horde mode. That'd be a pretty cool addition. Oh my, this girl's got her guts hanging out. Yeah, let's get him, Becky. Nice. Got your back. Just a boxer and a baseball guy. That's cool. Yeah, see all these cool costumes that they have with this uh, authentic Z mod. Pretty cool model, one of my favorites. Boston gloves and fingerless gloves. Military boots would definitely take those. All right, we took those boys out. Is there anybody else? That might be it. I don't know how long the uh, thing goes. Sounds like I hear somebody. Nope, there we go. We survived. Nice, boys. That is our second horde down. This one actually was a little bit of a horde. But dang, Becky just destroyed them. All with that little axe that she's got. Look at that little thing. Oh, uh, yeah. So, not too bad. We're going to clean up all these corpses. Uh, see if we can find some more workers. So we get these guys cleared up. Uh, we need to start building a little bit. And then we're going to get some survival essentials going. And it'll be a nice little base. Yeah, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and we will catch you in the next video.